What's up guys and welcome to the next weekly ramble video the series where I just get to talk about whatever I want to talk about and it is a lot of fun uh, but uh, I've actually got some interesting things to talk about this week so the first thing before we really get into anything uh, main topic wise I do want to mention we have our Twitter giveaway going on still uh, all you have to do to enter follow us tweet at us with hashtag core 2019 giveaway uh, and basically you're entered to win a free uh, core 2019 bundle pack uh, so we will be picking our winner on Monday, August 6th. So there's a few days left. Uh, definitely suggest tr uh, trying to enter and see, you know, if you can win. We've actually got a good many entries already. Uh, so thank you so much for all of you uh, participating in that. We're really excited. We've never done a Twitter giveaway before. Uh, this was sort of as a goal to see how we could actually manage it. Because again, most of our stuff is either Instagram driven or YouTube driven. Uh, but we thought, hey, let's try Twitter. Uh, build that up a little bit and it seems to be working you guys are doing a fantastic job so thank you uh, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to mention um, Andrew was officially our first guest on a podcast episode so huge thank you to Andrew uh, we had basically the overarching topic was proxied or fake cards uh, how they impact magic whether they're good or bad in certain situations and then of course how to remedy uh, some of the bad uh, issues that surround that uh, and while we generally kind of differ on some of those opinions, Will and I were able to uh, talk through and work out what we thought were good answers. Andrew was able to bring to the table what he thought were good answers for these uh, these issues. And then we sort of just talked it out, and so it, it, was, it was a fun time. Uh, we did have some issues with the recording, uh, to not really any surprise by us at least. Uh, it was the first iteration of this kind of thing, and there's always going to be some issues. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but uh, overall, it went pretty well. We do have some ways to remedy some of the audio issues. So if you did listen to that episode or watch that episode on YouTube, uh, you probably heard that his audio was very, very quiet in comparison to ours. My audio was also like my input gain was all the way up at the very beginning, uh, which meant that I was peaking really hard. Uh, I thankfully realized it fairly quickly and turned it down, but we ended up just rolling with it because we knew there were going to be audio issues. Uh, so we did our best with that as a first iteration, but we're really excited to bring that back uh, and do hopefully a better job next time with it. Uh, and again, thank you so much to Andrew for participating. We had a lot of fun with Andrew. Uh, he's a good friend of ours, so he's a little bit of a guinea pig on this one, but uh, he also did bring some very important points to the table uh, on a topic that we had never touched on before. So huge thank you to him. Uh, we do have a short list of people who do want to uh, jump in on podcast episodes in the future. We're going to look to do that about once a month. Uh, but again, it's going to be a little bit dependent on schedules over the next few months. It's going to get really busy, uh, at least for me, just with my actual job and things like that. Uh, but we're going to do the best we can to keep that up. So we will see. Uh, but again, thank you to Andrew and thank you to all the uh, future uh, guests who have already kind of agreed to do so stuff with us. Uh, the other things I wanted to talk about, so, oh, uh, before I get into all that, D&D is going to be starting soon. Uh, we've talked about this on the Ramble uh, a few other times already. Uh, Zach was even on for a little bit one time. Uh, and the recording for that, we're basically all set up for it. We just need to get one more camera, uh, which is basically going to be on its way in the next few days. Uh, and then we're actually good to go. So we're pretty excited about it. Uh, we're going to probably pre-record a few sessions before we actually start releasing this. Uh, but we may do some behind the scenes kind of stuff with it just a little bit uh, to get some hype build around it and just have some fun. Uh, it's not something we've ever really done before. And this is obviously in a brand new vein for us. Uh, and so we just thought we'd have a little fun with it. So we'll see where that goes. Obviously, we'll keep you updated as things go along. Uh, no surprises there. So uh, the two big topics that I actually had for this episode, now that we've gotten four, four and a half minutes in, somewhere in there, uh, Commander 2018. Uh, we've obviously seen a lot of the set. I don't actually know. I haven't been keeping up if we have gotten the full set or not, so please correct me in the comments section. But um, I've not been keeping up kind of on purpose, solely because uh, I will be doing either a weekly ramble basically dedicated to it, or we'll have it as a podcast episode if we feel like there's enough there. So, uh, But I do want to give some initial thoughts and obviously some thoughts on what the community seems to think about it, uh, which overall seems to be kind of negative. Uh, it doesn't look to be that great on, on first look. I will say when I first saw the, the planeswalkers that were spoiled and things like that, I was actually kind of excited 
but overall, it really doesn't look that amazing. Um, I also think there's sort of this perfect storm happening where um, prices obviously are a little bit higher than they used to be. The number of decks over the last year, well, since last year, uh, has decreased down to four. Uh, and so the, it's just like it sits a little bit wrong. And then obviously if the card quality is not there, that's going to take another hit. Um, it just feels a little bit wrong to me. Uh, so we'll see how things go. Obviously, we'll look a little bit more in depth at the set and determine what our actual thoughts on it, not just initial thoughts uh, once we either do the podcast or the weekly ramble. But uh, please, by all means, share your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm actually really interested on this one. Commander Notoriously is like the one product Wizards never screws up until potentially now. Uh, we will see. Um, obviously, there's differing opinions on that, but overall, it seems like Commander tends to be the best thing each year uh, or the most reliably good thing each year. So we'll see. We'll look at that again more in depth in the future. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is sorting collections. Weird, right? Um, so I actually got a question about this because we posted on Instagram uh, that I was sorting my collection, which is weirdly massive for no reason. I need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. But um, I've got quite a few boxes of bulk that I've been going through as well as rare boxes, things like that. Uh, and just finding all the good stuff, pulling it out, uh, pulling out play sets of things. And people were asking, basically, how do you sort them? And uh, I actually, you can't see it, but there, literally there, uh, is a giant thing from BCW of 50 single row boxes. Uh, and my plan is I'm going to be going through and pulling out cards from each set, alphabetizing, and then obviously sorting by set number. Uh, and then putting all the bulk in those single row boxes that I can then label and sort, do whatever I want with. Uh, then I also have some excess bulk bind, or uh, excuse me, boxes, some four row boxes and two row boxes uh, that I plan to put the the other stuff that's ex in excess of play sets. So if I've got four of a card, I'll put it in the single row boxes. If I've got extra, I'll put it in that bulk box. That way, it's sort of like this is the stuff I just don't really have to worry about anymore. Um, and we'll see how that sorting system goes. I also do have good stuff, rare binders, and then sort of a rare bulk box, uh, like the 50 cent rares, 25 cent rares, nothing, in, nothing exciting. Uh, and it basically is going to be the same thing. I do want to pull out places of that. Um, I'm actually trying to dwindle down just a bit on my collection, uh, just because I've opened so much stuff since the start of this channel that, uh, I've got way more excess than I need. Uh, I ended up with like a two row box full of iconic masters bulk and that's iconic masters. Like that's not even a good set. So, um, something that people were talking about though, they were basically just asking how I actually sort, uh, that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, obviously if people want more detail, I guess I can go over that more. Uh, I never really thought of that as an interesting topic, but what this brought up was an idea of doing sort of one-off videos similar to the weekly ramble but maybe a little bit more uh, produced a little bit better looking uh, where I sort of take a topic like collection sorting or uh, deck build uh, deck building tips maybe like stuff like that uh, that don't necessarily fill a podcast episode but that can, that can provide maybe 10 minutes of uh, a 10 minute video or something like that that we can put up once a week uh, just occasionally and so we may start doing something like that. If people are interested, obviously we will. Uh, but definitely leave um, some content suggestions down below. Like if you have any topics that you think would be good for something like that, uh, just let us know. We don't want to rehash too many things. Like sorting a collection is fine. Uh, it's just like so many people have their own way of sorting it. So I feel like me putting out a video about how I sort mine isn't really going to impact anybody else. Um, that might be incorrect. I don't know. I mean, again, if you feel like you want something like that, then I'll do it. But, uh, definitely not like on the top of the list by any means, but by all, if, if there are topics that you find interesting or that you would find helpful, uh, that we don't need to dedicate to a podcast episode or to a weekly ramble, then please let me know. I'd be happy to do some videos like that, uh, to, to put those out there. So, uh, I think that's actually it. I think we've gotten through everything. Uh, a few things I didn't even write on my list to talk about, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly ramble. Uh, obviously, if you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And then as always, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our content. Huge thank you again to Andrew, and please don't forget to enter our Twitter giveaway going on right now. Hashtag core 2019 giveaway. 
Uh, the winner will be picked in just a few days, Monday, August 6th. So good luck, everybody. I will see you in the next Weekly Ramble.